Hey everyone, so welcome over to the Reverse of Left in Action, episode 1, where we go over what Twitter has to offer in order to make your brains explode. First off, at number 5, we have at whatever that name is, and it says, Being epically awesome against an Islamophobic Apex supporter. Of course, look at this Islamophobic racist bigot who, oh wait, he's a Muslim himself, along with 17% of the Israeli population. How is this possible? Next up at number 4 we have at Irony is Funny 8, who says, No, give back Golan as a Syrian, and the Syrians can stay there on their own soil. Makes sense. We should also give back Poland since it's Nazi German, and the Nazis can stay there on their own soil. Or they simply could have not lost the war. <laughs> at number 3 we have at Dan Cohen 3000, who says, As Israeli lobby attacks free speech, Clemson tells students, don't let anyone silence you. That is so stupid. The ones who are attacking free speech are the ones shouting down Jewish groups for being Jewish. Like for example, the people who canceled Janet Mock speaking for a Jewish group who took no stance in the Arab-Israeli conflict. Number two, we have Ad Nathan Lean who retweets an article saying, is Sam Harris a white supremacist? Of course he is. There's no doubt about that. How do you not know that? Apart from the fact that he's been fighting for brown-skinned women, free thinkers, homosexuals, definitely a white supremacist. Finally, at number one, we have a, this is Gaza. And this sums up the regressive left perfectly. A Palestinian who farts can be arrested within seconds by Israel. This is what the regressive left sounds like to every sane human being. 